I'm doing this video to clear the air and also to save a lot of women. I'm a victim. It could happen to anyone. It's not easy telling a story in a society where a lot of people will only criticize you and say all kinds of things. But the most important thing is I am out here saying this to encourage a lot of women out there to speak up. I'm a victim of blackmail. Oh, thank God I'm alive to tell you the story. It's not been easy coming out to do this. But I'm here doing it in flesh and blood. And I will heal. A guy that one could even call a human being came into my life and pretends of wanting to marry me. I didn't know that he had other motives. And he came when I was very vulnerable. When I lost. My friend, Ada Ame. I've been speaking to this guy on the phone for months, speaking to people that I thought were his relatives. Everything was just scam. Came to my life, said he could not leave me because I was not okay. I really wasn't okay and was hiding it from the press. The death of my friend broke me down so bad I could not function. And he said he was going to stay with me. I didn't know he was busy gathering his tools, his materials, which he was going to use to blackmail me. Afterwards, he had my naked videos. And he changed. He started hitting me. And when I wanted to talk and tell him this can't work, he blackmailed me with my own videos and said, I'm going nowhere. And that's when he turned into a big any time locks me up put the keys in his pocket in my own house i had access to i didn't have access to leaving my room this is a guy who lied to me that when he came to nigeria all his things were stolen his phones his his credit cards his clothes and he he got into trouble and he needed lawyers which i <laughs> which I gave a huge amount of money, I'm talking millions. He was out, he came to Abuja, started living with me. I became a shadow of myself. The Empress, you know, became a shadow of herself. If you were around me, you noticed my social life was, was no more. There was nothing to post on social media. My fans were asking, are you okay? Are you still mourning? They didn't know I was going through something worse than that. He wrecked me. Finished everything. I noticed that he also had loads of videos of other people. I saw most of my colleagues. I saw their chat, I saw everything. And I know those people could not speak up because they were scared. On my birthday, you guys know how I don't joke with my birthday. My birthday was the worst birthday ever in my entire life. He beat me up, broke my TV. People who came to greet me noticed I wasn't okay. But here I am, telling you in flesh and blood. <laughs> He takes me to the hospital. He makes sure I don't get involved with anyone two minutes, three minutes, so I don't tell anybody what's going on with me. He closed marked me everywhere I went. He dropped me everywhere. And he's always watching me not to tell the story to anybody. My family knew I was not okay, but I wasn't speaking. They just needed me to speak. They came to the house to ask if I was fine. I still could not speak. I could not tell them. I couldn't, I couldn't allow my mom hear such a thing. My family left, he bounced on me and, and said, I called my family, there's nothing they can do. He's 10 times ahead of whatever thing I was going to do. Two Saturdays, two Saturdays ago, he 
took me to the hospital, came back, came back. And I said no more. It's better in my life to tell the story than being in such a mess and being bitten up every minute. I was able to run away from my house, my house. This person I'm telling you actually got a ring and forced me to do a video which he posted on my page because he has access to my page. He changed all my password, logged me out of every email I have, everything I have, all my phones, my iCloud, everything. I don't have access to anything. I don't, I don't mind. I'm alive to tell you the story. I was able to run that night. I ran into the streets, not minding who or how I fell into a gutter. I was able to see a malam to ask for a phone. I called my brother and he picked me up from the hospital. The following morning, took me home. He came back after looking for me, took my car, took my international passport. He took the remaining money I have left. He took my iPad, he took my AirPods. He had two bags of my, of my valuables, took the car and left. He has the guts of his sending videos and saying, whatever I do, whatever I tell is going to put it out there. He's going to put it out there. He has, he's the one posting, chatting people on DM. I was able to get back my SIM cards, but he hacked my WhatsApp. But the IT people were able to get my WhatsApp after he had done the damage he did already. I'm not the one chatting you. If I come back with my page, if ever it happens, I'll let you know that I'm handling my page. For now, I'm not handling that page. Empress and Jammer has not been handled by me. The rest of the story and the details are told to the appropriate persons. But for now, I needed to clear the air and go to my page and see the video he posted. Does that look like something I will post? I was on the Durex posting that video called engagement. The ring that he got was fading my hands and each time I looked at my hands, it was burning. You could not afford that ring, obviously, but I couldn't talk. I just want to say thank you to those who have been coming to check on me. I'm fine, I will be fine. My family are here with me. It's been amazing with my friends who come to check up on me every day. They sleep with me. I'm still a total wreck, but I'll be better. I'll be okay with time. But I'm happy that. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Those of you out there who are under this guy's whatever, come out, speak out, speak through me. I know your videos. I know what you're going through. I got engaged today, the 18th of August. Oh my God. I'm officially off the market. Diamonds are forever. I'm engaged. I'm engaged. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jesus. This is beautiful. Thank you, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it.